so hello everyone i am back again with another amazing topic of geology actually this time it's not related to any branch or study of geology but yeah of course this is one of the questions which is boggling in every student's mind who is doing his or her bachelor's of sciences from geology okay so after doing your bsc in geology you are like okay i have completed my bsc now what's the option in front of me i mean if i want to do my msc in geology what are the streams available or even if i don't want to do any msc geology what else i can do so in this video i have actually tried to solve all those queries and your doubts in this video i'll be covering you know the parts i mean what are the top colleges for msc geology and if you are doing your msc from india what are the streams available and if you are doing your msc from abroad then what are the streams available and after doing your msc geology what are the job opportunities available in front of you so guys let's get started with this lecture now what after completion of bsc okay this is the question so guys if you are a bsc graduate also non science programs available okay like journalism animation management and there are other non science programs available for students who don't want to go for a higher study in the science stream okay so you can always have an option to take up certification courses like the mba data sciences machine learning software and management but for those students who are actually willing to do their msc geology and who want to become a geologist there are two options available okay either you can do your msc geology from india or you can do your msc geology from abroad so we won't be going much deeper into the streams and options available for msc geology in abroad but we'll have a look into them a brief look so MSc geology from abroad you have these following streams available you can do your master of sciences in geology and petroleum geology then your MSc geology MSc geosciences master of arts in geology MA in geology then master of sciences in engineering geology mining geology and in geology from earth sciences all right then you have other options too if you want to do your master of sciences in environmental geology or deposit geology msc in geology with a concentration in space and planetary sciences okay then you have master of science by research in geology master of science in structural geology with geophysics master of science in applied environmental geology master of science in natural science with a concentration in geology master of science in petroleum geology so these are some of the options available if you are willing to do your msc from abroad now let's look at the options available for msc geology from india okay so for those students who have passed their bachelor's degree in geology with a 3 year bsc program so they are eligible to apply for higher study in this subject as most of the institutions consider a minimum of 55% marks in aggregate in graduation for admission to higher studies see different colleges have different criteria for their admissions you know some take admissions on merit basis some have their own entrance exams like jam and all so we can have a, a separate lecture over there like how to prepare for these exams the top colleges how they take up admission for msc geology and other things right now let's look at right right now let's look at that if you are eligible for msc geology in india then what are the courses available for msc geology students you can have your msc in applied geology technical you can have your msc in applied geology non technical MSc in geology honors MSc in geology with applied chemistry MSc in petroleum geology master of science in marine geology 
Master of Science in Petroleum Geosciences, Master of Science in Geology Technical and Master of Science in Geophysics. All right. Then let's have a look at the top colleges for MSc Geology. See, in India, there are many institutes who offer MSc Geology as a course in their colleges. But here I have, you know, just took off some of the important colleges were considered as to be the top colleges in India because every student has a different choice. Some want a good infrastructure, some want a good faculty, some want a scope of research in their colleges, so on. So on an average, these institutes are considered to be as a top institutes for MSc Geology in India. And these are Manipal Institute of Technology, MIT Manipal University, Ferguson College, Pune, Hans Raj College, DU, Delhi University, MG Science Institute, that is MGSI, Ahmedabad, Ravenshya University, Katak, Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Kharagpur. So these are some of the top colleges for MSc Geology. Now, what after MSc Geology? Once you have done your MSc Geology, then what are the options available in front of you? See, as I've told before you, if you have done your BSc Geology, then those graduates are eligible for, you know, to pursue the non-relevant PG courses also, like the MBA or have a law degree. Okay, but those who have completed post-graduation in Geology, they can go for MPhil and PhD programs in subjects related to Geology. They can, you know, after post-graduation in Geology, they can go for higher studies like the PhD programs, the research and all. All right. And those who have completed post-graduation in geology, they can start their career in related areas such as the petrology, geophysics, mining research, and so on. So along with post-graduation, they can also apply for the exams conducted by UPSC for the selection of geologist, that is, you know, your geological survey of India, junior geologist, candidates who have completed advanced level courses such as MPhil or PhD, they can join as faculty in colleges as well. So these are some of the options when you just take your step out of your MSc Geology. Okay, what are the career prospects and job opportunities once you have completed your master's from Geology? So diverse job opportunities exist in front of geologists in India. Job profile of a geologist depends upon his or her qualifications and specializations. I mean, if you're a graduate, you'll get a lower rank of geologist. If you're a postgraduate, then of course, you'll be a hybrid officer. The government as well as private sector job opportunities exist in front of Indian geology graduates. Both private sector and government sector, they, you know, invite applications for geologists. Okay, now, Pursuing PG course will be highly beneficial since it will enhance one's qualification and help land better jobs. Also, completing master's education will help one take up the job post of a lecturer at college. Of course, if, if you have, you know, a passion for teaching, you can go for that, of course. Now, studying further advanced courses like MPhil and PhD will help one build in career in the R&D sector. You can go for research and development if you have a crazy, if you are, you know, so passionate about geology as a subject. You can go for that, you know, for the R&D in the field of geology. Now, the private companies and government enterprises involved in activities like the mineral exploration, the mineral mining, mining, mineral production, mineral extraction, oil and natural gas exploration, oil and natural gas extraction, you know, as we, uh, we have seen that all these are actually, you know, the applications of geology, the scopes of geology. So they are known to hire geology graduates. Okay, now some of the well-known government sector Recruiters include the GSI, Geological Survey of India, the ONGC, SAIL, Coal India, GMDC, the Gujarat Mineral Development Corporation. So these are actually the government sectors which recruit the graduates or the postgraduates from geology. The government operated quarries, BPCL, oil, National Mineral Development Corporation, 
Orisha Mining Corporation, Rajasthan State Mines and Minerals, Tamil Nadu Minerals Limited, DRDO, and ISRO. Okay. After that, there are the private sectors as well who are well known for the recruitment of the geologists. Okay, so you have the mining firms, you have the mineral processing firms, there are mineral extracting firms, coal extraction firms, private refineries, exotic gems mining firms. Okay, now other than the core geology jobs mentioned above geologists may also take up a job in allied sectors such as metallurgical engineering civil engineering and mining engineering because when we are studying geology we can see that there are many concepts which are applied in these sectors that's why we call it the allied sectors for geology now after you get into a government or private sector after completing your post graduation from geology there are some common job profiles available in front of the geologists okay and of course they depend upon the specialization and qualification the first one you can be a junior geologist you can be an assistant geologist you can be a geologist hydrogeologist petrologist marine geologist you can be a seismologist you can also be an astrogeologist and if you have done your MPhil or PhD you can be a lecturer or a teacher after completing your PhD you can go for research and development so R&D professional or you can be a mine supervisor so after becoming a geologist what can be your salary and perks so on an average geologists may earn around 15 to thousand 15 to 30,000 rupees per month on an average figure at the start of course this is the starting average income of a geologist so starting salary depends upon the number of factors of course it depends upon your qualification it becomes it depends upon your specialization it depends upon the profile of the employer the job location or if, if it's a government job then it, it will be definitely based on the pay band or the scale according to the government so guys see it looks very you know beautiful have you seen that movie 2012 there are the geologists you know so sensing some seismic activity going on inside the earth and they predict that oh 2012 is going to be the apocalypse and all okay so it, it really looks very attractive to be become a geologist and guys if you are really passionate for geology if your basics are clear and you love subjects you love rocks then definitely go for it there is a huge scope for geologists and I've seen it's a rare subject I think I mean as people say not much people they don't take up geology but those who take geology I feel they are gems you know because geology is one of the most beautiful subjects I mean look at those rocks they are actually beautiful fine uh, so guys I hope you like the lecture if any doubts are there you're free to ask me in the comment section suggestions are always invited and what are the topics whatever the topics we have left I mean the examinations for entrance entrance in colleges for examinations like government jobs GSI and all we'll cover it in the further lectures Till then, thank you.